Hi guys! Um, welcome back. It's been a long time since I've done a video and that is because I was on vacation um, from work and um, during that week my son broke his leg so we have been um, doing a lot of you know baby related activities <laughs> trying to um, amuse him while he's had um, he's healing in his cast so uh, a few more weeks left but um, so that's why I haven't been able to film anything or really make any videos so but anyway today is uh, the day that I'm going to film my tea collection so um, this is gonna be probably a long video I'm gonna try to go through the collection as quickly as I can and if you have any questions feel free to leave in the comments and let's get started I have drinks galore for this video. I made myself an, a David's Tea uh, iced mango matcha latte, just some 2% milk, and um, for fun I put some uh, frozen mangoes in there along with ice cubes. It's really good because you can eat the mangoes after and they have like matcha soaked into them. It's very good. And this one is a hot tea that I got from in my Sip Spy box in, uh, for the month of July. This is a puka tea and it is um, echinacea elderberry or elderberry echinacea rather and it's um it's a really good tea this doesn't need anything it's a steeps up a really pretty like a rosy kind of uh rosy pinkish red color and uh you can definitely taste the elderberries it's got some uh, licorice root in there so it doesn't need any sugar or honey it's got a natural sweetness from the licorice root um licorice root is not one of the first ingredients it's one of the latter ingredients so it's not very heavy it does add that strange sweetness, um, but it's very good. It's really good for your throat, too, um, uh, licorice root. So let's get into the collection. I'm going to uh, do my David's Teas last because that is the uh, tea that I have the most of. So um, we're just going to dive on in. Uh, I have some uh, teas from T2 here, caramel brownie. These are all black teas. Um, I finished off a few of them. I have a tea empties video to do. I have the chai, which I haven't tried yet, um, but here it's wonderful, the uh, T2 chai, the hot chocolate black tea. I have um, reishi tea, sweet matcha. This is great for making um, matcha lattes, um, you know, things of that nature. This is a really nice sweet matcha, but it's very sweet. Um, nice to start if you have any friends who are you know anti matcha or don't love matcha? That's a, a pretty good one to introduce people to matcha. That's the Rishi sweet matcha. Um, and let's go with um, I've got my Hardy and Sons collection. It's pretty small, but um, I'm adding new new teas uh, as I can find them. I'm really dying to try their um, their Wayusa, which I saw on their website. I just I wasn't really in a position to spend, so I, you know, um, I put off that uh, order. But I am going to make an order with Hardy and Sons, and I, I definitely have the white on my list. So we have Paris tea, which I love. Uh, everybody seems to love that one. Um, Hardy and Sons Earl Grey, which I like very much. I only have a few of these tea. Actually, I only have one tea bag left. Oops, time to restock on this. Um, I used to really dislike Earl Grey's, and now I find myself really liking them. And I know um, Sarah from Serenity Channel. She um, she's another tea tuber. If you haven't seen her videos, check her out. She is awesome. I will link one of her videos below in the description. Definitely check her out if you are a tea head or a tea fan. Uh, she makes awesome videos and she is just a beautiful person inside and out and um, she's a very cool person. She grows her own food and she farms and she knows a lot about plants and animals. She's a cool person and she has an amazing tea collection obviously. Um, Carney and Sons Cherry Blossom Tea. This is really good. I got this I got this back a few months ago at Target. This is, oh God, this is so good. This is a great like springtime tea. This is great hot. This is great iced. Um, I have to really get some of the loose leaf, but um, I just got the tea bags because I had seen it and there wasn't. Uh, they didn't have an option to get loose leaf at Target at that moment in time. Harney and Sons Golden Milk. This was my favorite thing when I had COVID. Um, I drank this every night when I had COVID and it helped. It, that warmth from the ginger, um, the turmeric, anti-inflammatory, I and mean, this is a wonderful kind of elixir um, when you're not feeling well. I literally craved this 
um, and I craved uh, chai <laughs> when I had COVID. I don't know why, but uh, you know, feed your body what it wants when you're what you're craving when you're uh, sick, right? That's what they say. And um, what else? Am I missing something? No, that's it for my uh, Hardy and Sons collection for now. Um, like I said, I do. So I'm expanding that a little bit. I know there is that uh, that cinnamon spice one. There's a cinnamon black tea um, from Harney that I'm dying to try in the Wayusa. If anybody has any suggestions, I know that there's another one. It's princess or something. Princess tea. I, I forget. If anybody has any Harney and Sun suggestions, send it my way because I'm a fan of the brand. Um, Republic of Tea. This is a cup of chocolate teas. This is a collection of dessert teas. Most of them are rooibos based um, and these are really awesome teas. They are caffeine free. Six each. This is a collection of six each. Um, red velvet chocolate, cocoa, coconut cocoa, which was my favorite, um, peppermint chocolate, which was, that ended up being one of my absolute favorites in this box, and banana chocolate. And um, these awesome teas. I got this on Amazon. Uh, if anybody's interested, let me know. I will send you the link. And my mother just got this for me. This is a box of stash teas, Moroccan mint. And uh, Moroccan mint is always great. It's um, basically green tea and peppermint, and it's just a wonderful uh, combination. Um, gives you a nice little lift of energy. Got some teas here from Tea Pigs. Um, my girl Jan from Teas with Jan recommended this highly. This is a cold brew rose lychee tea, which I love. I uh, iced, obviously, a uh, cucumber and apple. This is awesome too. It's a great tea to have with like a meal, with a sandwich or a salad or something. It's really, really great. Um, I have this box of um, Bigelow teas. This is Sweet Dreams. It's just chamomile and lavender. It's really delicious though. Um, and it's naturally caffeine free as opposed to decaffeinated. I can't really say that there's ever been a decaffeinated tea that I liked apart from the Trader Joe's um, candy cane green tea. That is the literally the only um, caffeine free tea that I have ever liked in my life. Um, and Dessert by Deb. I have a nice little collection uh, from Dessert by Deb, but these are the teas. Matcha uh, tins, sorry. Matcha cream puff. Um, excuse me. Coconut maple custard. And uh, matcha cinnamon sugar donut. Love that tea. So good. Um, Dessert by Deb is uh, an excellent brand. Deb is a sweetheart, uh, one of the sweetest, kindest souls you will ever meet, and um, she's wonderful. She's a lovely person, and I love her teas, and I love her brand, and um, she's a really cool person. If you've never tried dessert by Deb, I highly recommend her teas. Um, that orange, orange, uh... You know what? Now that we're uh, now that we're here, I'm just gonna get the rest of my dessert bread of teas and read them off to you. There's a box here. Um, some of these are samples, so we'll just go through what I have. Um, marshmallow crispy square, almond cinnamon brioche, boba milk tea. Hojicha Berry Shortcake, Orange Cinnamon Rolls, Fireside S'mores, Almond Peach Gallette, uh, Concord Grape Jelly, uh, Hojicha Chocolate Cream Pie, uh, Strawberry Rhubarb Jam, Maple Chai Sticky Buns, which I love, Cereal Milk, um, Banana French Toast, um, Coconut Cream Pie Chai, Canatoni cake, hoji cha cinnamon raisin bread pudding, uh, strawberry cake roll, salted caramel pancakes, oatmeal chocolate chip cookie, banana chocolate chunk muffins, which is amazing, uh, blueberry lavender angel food cake, which um, Alex from uh, David's Tea Reviews loves, um, uh, Earl's sugar cookie, which is really good, and peppermint patty, which I haven't tried yet, and 
can't wait to try that one. So those are my bags from Dessert by Deb. Um, I also have some teas from uh, Old Barrel Tea Company who I, oh, excuse me, baby issues. Sorry guys, just trying to amuse baby, keep him amused. It's hard because his leg is broken, he's not able to run around like he normally can. Um, so Old Barrel Tea Company, I never would have known about them if it were not from Stacy from As The Tea Bros. So I just want to give her a quick shout out and thank her um, for telling us about some of these wonderful uh, teas. And I have from them, I actually just finished a tin of um, coconut cream, which is a great tea. It was like a, I think it was like a poor um, black tea blend. It's really, really good. I drank the entire tin and I just repurposed the tin. Uh, but I also have the white peach, um, strawberry mojito, um, pineapple upside down coffee cake, which is really cool. This has like um, actual coffee beans in it and this is just a great tea. It's really, really good. And um, pecan pie is another tea that I have from them, but that is at work because I, I love to drink that during the day, like in the afternoon after lunch. It gives me like a nice boost and gets me through the rest of the day. So um, I love to drink that tea at work. Um, Burden Blend. Let me get into my Burden Blend collection here. I have a few tins, so we'll start with the tins. Go from there. Um, peppermint cream. Um, totally nutty, which is uh, Ceylon black tea, almond pieces, Japanese uh, roasted green tea, cinnamon, and natural flavor. This is really good. It's really, really good. It tastes like marzipan black tea. Very, very good. Love it. Uh, my favorite mocha chai on the whole planet, uh, Burden Blend. This is not a Burden Blend tin. This is a Pinky Up. Um, it's a vanilla chai tin. Actually, I love Pinky Up's vanilla chai. is really good. I finished all of the tea, and I just put mocha chai from Brian Clem in here because a couple of 50-gram bags fit perfectly in here. And uh, Monkey Chops, which this is a great banana tea. If you like banana teas, I highly recommend this one. It's really good as a latte as well. Uh, a little bit of... If you really want to splurge, put a little whipped cream on there and a couple of slices of banana. It's really good. <laughs> nice little dessert for yourself. And um, Snowball, I was, uh, Danny from uh, Teas by Danny recommended this tea to me. She it was uh, in her top 10 teas of whatever year it was. And this was her number one tea. So as soon as I saw this available on the site, I ordered it huge bag of it <laughs> and um oh my gosh this tea is so so good uh Sri Lankan black tea cocoa shells um desiccated coconut cocoa nibs red corn flowers vegan marshmallows high fructose corn syrup sugar oh right 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 uh that's the sub ingredient of marshmallows I can't read that. Maize, starch, um, natural flavoring. It's very, very small lettering there. I can't, I'm having a tough time reading it. But Snowball, it's a black tea from Burden Blend. It's delicious. Um, and that is it for my tins of Burden Blend. And then we have a bag here. Um, I tried to separate these by tea type. So I have, you know, herbals black teas, and so forth. I'm just going to go through and uh, see what we have. To Enchanted Narnia, Nearly Nirvana, uh, Duvet Day, which is awesome, uh, Mojiti, love that one, Ice, Ginger Snap Green, uh, Nuts About You, really, really good. It's basically like totally nutty, apart from it is basically a rooibos blend, so it's like tastes like marzipan, but it's a rooibos blend. Uh, blue raspberry, oh, this is so good. It's butterfly pea flower, kind of raspberry flavored. It's really cool. Blue tea, oh, it's awesome. And these are black teas. Cream egg. Um... Bonfire toffee, very good. Affogati, 
as opposed to oh, affogato. <laughs> Oxford comma. Oh my God, I love this. Love, 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 I love this tea. Sri Lankan black tea, Chinese kuar tea, Japanese hojicha green tea, ginkgo biloba natural flavoring. Oh my God, I love, love, love that tea. Peach cobbler. I don't recall ever trying this one yet. I'm gonna put that aside because I still haven't tried it. Uh, birthday cake, which is really good. Um. My favorite tea from Bird and Blend that I don't even have a tin of yet, um, but I've ordered several bags because I love it so much. Everybody knows coconut milk oolong, <laughs> favorite Bird and Blend tea. Um, carrot cake, very good. Wedding cake, love that one too. Rhubarb and custard, I just had that the other day. It's very, very good. Um, um, Royalist tea, very nice and hydrating, and it's really good iced and hot. Moondrop Dreams, such a wonderful nighttime tea. If you haven't tried Moondrop Dreams, I highly recommend it. And birthday cake. So um, that is the entirety of my Bird and Blend collection. And um, without further ado, let's move on to our David's Teas. Thank you for your patience, folks. Um, somebody had recommended, requested a tea collection video for me, so that is why I'm going through it here. And if you have any questions about any of um, any of my teas or my opinions on any of these teas, feel free to let me know. Um, so these are the tea bags that I have from David's sweet potato pie. I just use these if I'm if I'm going on an errand somewhere or like popping out the door, or if I'm going to the gym and I just want a hot tea on the way or something. Um, I buy. I buy the tea bags when they go on sale. So we have sweet potato pie, butterscotch chai. Um, I tried to get as many of these as I could. I have a few boxes of these. Organic espresso yourself. I love that tea. It's one of the best coffee tea hybrids uh, that they have ever had, in my personal opinion. In my humble opinion, I will say. Uh, hibiscus healer, which I love. Love that hot or iced. Merry mistletoe, really wonderful um, white tea. And we're gonna relocate here. I'll take my tea and we're gonna relocate over to the kitchen table. <laughs> I'm sorry. We moved and um, I'm still trying to get a little, I'm still trying to get used to the new digs here. <laughs> um, we have more space. It's just, I'm not 100% used to. We, we still we have a lot of reorganizing to do. We, we put things in places and they're really not in their official homes as of yet. But my tea is not staying here in this kitchen. It just takes up too much room that we don't have. Which is totally fine by me because I would really like it all together and organized anyway. So here we go. Um, I'm just going to do the tins last. Um, so I'll start with what I have in this box here. These are bags of teas that I don't really have tins for yet, but um, I have enough bags, enough loose leaf tea that they probably should have a tin. I just don't have the tins to keep them in, so I'm keeping them in this David's Tea box to uh, until I have tins available. Pistachio ice cream. I have a couple of uh, 50 gram bags of that because uh, it's so good and I'm. I, uh, I really need to get some in case they discontinue it again and it's no longer available. I'd like to fill up at least one tin with that. Um, Anji Green. I have a few bags of this and I really enjoy it. Movie Night. It's no longer available on the site, but it's a great tea. I really love it. Guangzhou Milk Oolong. Um, such a great tea. Happy Kombucha. That's um, basically a backup. I have a tin of that. Uh, Valerian Nights. Strawberries and cream. Uh, the Earl's Garden. I only have one bag of that. Um, Christmas morning. Not a big fan of that. Um, Bahama Mama. I have to finish this tea off, but if you've ever had, um, um, well, what was that tea from Tea Vada called? Youthberry. If you've ever had youthberry tea from Tea Vana, um, it smells and tastes exactly like that. Bahama Mama from David's Tea. Tastes exactly like Youthberry from uh, Tivana, in my personal opinion. Blood Orange Earl Grey. If I had had the opportunity to buy more of this tea, I absolutely would have. This is my one of my favorite teas to drink iced um, of all time. I love that tea. 
Very, very good. Um, Bengal lemonade. Very sad that that's discontinued. Very, very sad. Um, peach pucker. Absolutely love that. Um, I went to the David's Tea pop-up store on Newbury Street at the Lululemon uh, location on the second floor. And um, I ordered a peach pucker iced tea. And that was one of the most awesome to-go teas I've ever had. Raspberry mojito. Um, I love raspberry mojitos. As a matter of fact, sorry guys, I probably should have paused you before... But this is a cup of raspberry mojito. I've had it chilling in the fridge. And I love that tea so much. Butterfly pea flower. So fun. Um, it doesn't really have a flavor, but it's such a wonderful tea to add to things if you want to add a pop of color. Goji pop. Speaking of pop, um, I love that tea. Whipped coconut. I, I've had this a few times and I really, really like it. It's um, it's a green tea um, and the coconut flavor is very creamy and very light. Um, that's a really like a fun dessert tea to have if you've had a really heavy meal and you want something um, not terribly caffeinated. That's a really great tea. And if you like coconut, uh, natural coconut, you'll love that. Maracuya mango. Oh, that's such a great energizing um, iced tea. I love that, and I, I think I would probably really enjoy that one hot as well as iced, um, but I've only ever had it iced thus far. Um, Jumpy Monkey, this was in the um, Dip Breakfast Blends collection. It was just a um, 25 gram bag sampler of teas, all these breakfast blends. So it was like David's Breakfast Blend, David's Chai, um, I don't remember what else. They may have had coffee puer in there, um, espresso yourself. They had a few energizing, you know, more, I think vanilla cappuccino was in there, I want to say. Um, anyway, it was a sampler of various uh, breakfast blend teas. And this is one of them, Jumpy Monkey. It's pretty good. It's a, a mate, white mocha pick-me-up. Um, I haven't finished it off yet, but it is discontinued, unfortunately. Watermelon mint. Another great iced tea. Sparkling Sangria. I love that one. Um, I do feel that I need to use a lot of that tea in order to get the flavor that I want, though. Um, Gaba Guava. Awesome ice green tea. Apple Cider. I love that one hot for the fall. Um, pistachio Macaron. Um, I did not care for that tea. That was one of the few teas that I really I was excited about and I just didn't care for it. I love the pistachio ice cream. I just don't like that one. Kiwi Lemonade. Really good. Um, very tart. Very, very tart lemonade tea, but really good. If you like tart, if you like hibiscus, this is really good. Um, Sunny Sea. I used to hate Sunny Sea and now I love it. Um, I just... It's all about how long I steep it for and, um, you know, that perfect ratio of like a little bit of honey or agave, you know, whatever you choose. You just have to steep it for the right amount of time at the right temperature and you're good to go. I know exactly the formula to get my sunny sea the way I want it. Um, yes, let's see. Um, pink papaya dice. I really would like to get a tin of this. I just, I have so many tins of iced teas and I don't know if I can really justify filling another one, but I really like this pink papaya dice and I, I really, I'm hoping they bring it back next year because I love this tea. Um, and if they discontinue it like they did Melon Drop, I'm just going to be really sad. So I think I might have to get a, a tin and fill it with pink papaya dice because I love it that much. It's really good. It's so refreshing. Um, wild raspberry. This is my favorite raspberry tea from David's Tea. I like this better than frozen raspberry. It's just, it's really good. Maybe it's because it's on a green tea base. I just, I really love this. 
um, Zomba pearls. I really should fill a tin of this. It's just really expensive, so it's tough to justify spending all that money on tea all the time. Cherry blossom. I love that tea. I've been through several bags of that, and I've never gotten a tin of it. I don't know why. I just haven't. Ginger honey. Love that as a wellness tea when you're not feeling well or if you need something to help you fall asleep. That's a great tea. Um, cherry berry punch. I have several bags of this. I just haven't gotten around to filling a tin of it yet, but it's a great black tea. Um, that's great iced. It's just good, an awesome iced black tea. And um, ditto for lychee bellini. Uh, every once in a while this pops up again on the site. It is discontinued, but if you check the site every now and then, uh, you'll find lychee bellini will pop up again here and there. And we're going to move on to the tins. We've got our puars. Coffee pour, uh, hazelnut chocolate, um, s'mores chai, and hot chocolate. And you can hear these are these are pretty full. I mean, um, there's very few of these that don't have a full amount of tea in them. Just to show you guys, I am. Uh, very particular about <laughs> how much tea I can justify keeping in a tin. <laughs> if I have just a little tiny amount of tea in a tin, it really bothers me, so I want to <laughs> make sure that I have plenty of tea in there. I don't know what is wrong with me besides everything. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I don't know what it is. I love the smell of fluars. That kind of earthiness, that, that wonderful, like, I don't know. It smells like, you know, earth, like organic. I don't know, like a, it kind of smells like after it rains outside, you know, you can like smell the dirt. Pouars remind me of that smell. Anyway, if the people must be like, this girl is gross. What is she talking about? Let's move on to the white teas that I have in my collection. Here we go. We've got lemon cayenne cleanse, white peach, baihao yinzen, white pumpkin, and pomegranateful. Love all those teas. And white teas, I find myself making a lot of white teas in a teapot. White tea is one of those things that is a real treat to me. I love to sit and make a whole pot of white tea, share it with somebody, sip on it, you know, drink it, um, feel the flavors, listen to those little nuances of flavor in each sip, and I, I just, I love a nice, calming, smooth white tea. Um, let's move on to the black teas. Read My Lips, David's Chai, Pumpkin Chai, Monkey Business, Santa's Secret, Vanilla Chai, Blueberry Jam, love this tea, Candy Cane Crush, Chocolate Chip Cookie, <clears throat> Walnut Fudge Brownie, Glitter and Gold, Vanilla Bean Black, Sweet Potato Pie, Cardamom French Toast, which is back in the site again for the fall. Chocolate Macaroon. Jingle Bell Chai. Love that one. Everybody loves Jingle Bell Chai. Um, vanilla Cappuccino, which is so good. Um, and pumpkin Earl Grey. That's back on the site again as well for fall 2022. And last but certainly not least, Alice Megaton of Espresso Yourself. Um, and selflessly moving on to green teas, we have Berry Cherry, Sweet Ginger Heat, Gen Maicho. 
David's Detox, love that tea. Megaton of Blood Orange Boost. Sweet Almond Green. Um, this is Matcha Ice Cream. Hoji Cha. Mega Tin of Toasted Walnut. Mom's Apple Pie. And let it snow. I'm going to take a quick break. Okay, sorry guys. Um, back with the oolongs here. Vanilla Orchid Oolong. Silver Bell Oolong. Um, Blueberry Fields Forever. I love that one. Potter Ice. Zest Wishes. It's a really nice orangey spice oolong. Um, strawberries and cream. I love that tea so much. That's such a deliciously decadent, great, creamy tea. Um, banana bread chai. I love that. You just have to be really careful with how long you steep that one for. Otherwise, it can taste way too sweet and it's weird. Magnolia oolong. Really good. It tastes kind of like jasmine and magnolias. Um, happy kombucha. Oh, I love that tea. Oh, so good. Great hot, great iced. Salted caramel oolong, and maybe my favorite oolong besides Guang, Guangzhou milk oolong, um, cinnamon oolong. Excellent, excellent taste. Um, I haven't tried Phoenix oolong yet, but I have an order in, and I, I do have that in my order. Um, and finally, maple syrup oolong. This was the, uh, a tin from um, Old Barrel Tea Company that I just used to put my maple syrup oolong in. So um, I know it's blasphemy putting a tea, a David's tea and another tea brand tin, but you know, it had to be done. Um, so we are, we're gonna move on to um, Mate's, Queen of Tarts, Oat Milk Latte, Morning Detox, Chocolate Rocket, and Just Beat It. And finally, we have our tins of um, herbals and fruit infusions. Lay Digestive. Forever Nuts, Caramel Shortbread, Tulsi Tranquility, and this is one of my favorite iced teas and they don't have it anymore, um, but this is what's left of um, Melon Drop, which is an amazing fruit infusion tea. It's really good. It tastes like cantaloupe and whatever. It's just, it's so good. It's, uh, yep, Melon Drop. If it ever comes back, I will buy a pretty decent amount of it to keep me uh, stuck for a while. <laughs> um, Caribbean Fresh, Forever Frosty. Mother's Little Helper, Maui Madness, Frozen Raspberry, Organic Strawberry Moringa, Blueberry pancakes, love that tea. Dragon fruit aloe. Just peachy. Mango fruit punch.
Magic Potion, Strawberry Rhubarb Parfait, Sleigh Ride, White Cranberry Bark, Sleepy Lychee, Hibiscus Splash, Honeycomb Chai, Rainbow Lemonade, love that tea so much. Sweet Tart, oh, I love that. It was a, a Valentine's tea that came out a few years ago. I love it so much. Another tin of um, Rainbow Lemonade. Cold 911. Easter Earl Grey. Shirley Temple. And everybody knows, if you've known me for any length of time, you know that I talk about this tea all the time. Thai dye butterfly. I'm pretty well stocked in this tea. I have several more bags to fill this when it runs out. <laughs> oh my goodness. And last but not least, we have our rooibos teas. Cocoa chai rooibos, witch's brew, alpine punch, Tahitian vanilla, Toasted Marshmallow. Carrot Cupcake. Headache Halo. Be the Change. Love that tea so much. Super ginger, and it is super. It is such a super awesome tea. Lavender buttercream. Oh, that was one of the one of the first teas that made me obsessed with the brand. Okay, so now we have reached the matcha section, which is all the way at the bottom here. We have peach matcha, strawberry matcha. Blueberry matcha, mango matcha, gingerbread, pumpkin pie, and Earl Grey. Not to be confused with cream of Earl Grey matcha, which I don't care for, but I do like the regular Earl Grey matcha. I also have unsweetened coconut matcha which is oh so good. Grand Cru Matcha. This is my favorite straight matcha from David's Tea. Banana Matcha, which I have a few more bags of, um, unopened. Matcha Matsu. Green Apple Matcha. Watermelon Matcha. A few other bags of those unopened as well. And Organic Ceremonial Matcha. And I got these um, when they had the semi-annual sale in the spring. These were these were on mega sale, so I tried to get as much as I could afford. Um, but these are those other matches that I have not opened yet. Grand Cru, banana, watermelon. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six bags, six two ounce bags of salted caramel matcha, which is nice because I, I don't think they, they haven't relaunched that one yet. Uh, it might be discontinued. Uh, and I have raspberry. It's, I, I don't know if you can get a tin of that anymore, but I really, really would like to get a tin of raspberry matcha because I, I went through my last tin already and it's so good. And then I got a few bags of chai matcha when it was on sale because it's so good. 
So um, that is most of my collection. I must, I mean, I have a few other teas, but that's that's the bulk of it. And I also have some tea bags in um, this box here. Most of them are David's teas. Um, these are from little um, collections. Some of my teas uh, from Sips by go in this box. There, this is just a um, a bar, like a display case for your tea bags. Um, World Market, twenty bucks. Um, if you guys have any questions about my collection or any any of these teas, if you're wondering where to get them, you're having a hard time finding some teas, let me know. Uh, I will do my best to help you, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for sticking through it. If you did make it this far, um, let me know what you think, other than the fact that I'm insane <laughs> for buying all this tea. It took me a long time to um, collect all this. It's been, you know, a year and a half or so whatever. Anyways, I have a great day and um, my next video will be about um, my Sips by box for the month of August and some fall beauty must-haves. See you guys later. Have a great day, great week, great weekend, and I will see you for the next cup of tea.